Page Turners, welcome back to the channel. I'm Matthew, the man with a hat, who reads. And today, we are looking ahead at 2024 once again, because it's nearly here, and it's time to start planning my reading. And for today, I'm going to be looking at my planned rereads for 2024. I had a hard time with this because I have a lot of books I'd like to reread. There's a lot of them, just a bunch just on this shelf behind me I'd like to pick up and reread again. But I can't just commit everything to rereading in the year. I have to get all my new stuff right at the same time. So the ones I have here are the definite rereads that I want to hit in 2024. I might throw some other ones in as the year goes on, just depending on things. I know there's a lot of books in there I'd like to reread. But I dug out some books I know I want to reread because it's either been a while or I'm doing it because I want to finish off a series. So we'll start with the big one. This is in January. I've talked about this a couple times on the channel, but I want to reread Matthew Riley's Jack West Jr. series. Essentially, the first five are rereads. So Seven Deadly Wonders. The Six Sacred Stones, Five Greatest Warriors, Four Legendary Kingdoms, and The Three Secret Cities. Um, the main reason I want to reread these is because, thanks to Ginger Bibliophile pointing them out, Book Outlet had the last two, which I haven't read yet, Two Lost Mountains and One Impossible Labyrinth. And it bothers me that they're not all the same size, but I was doing that with the mass markets, they weren't all the same size, so... Whatever, but this has been a series I've loved in the past. I already read the first three a couple times, I know, but it's been a while since I read those. And the most recent one I read, of course, was book five, The Three Secret Cities, and I think that's been like three years ago now, too. I think, something like that. When was it published? <laughs> 2019. So 2020. I probably read it early 2020, late 2019. So it's been a while. And it's been a long while if you think about it. Because we all know what happened in 2020. But um, I'd love to dive into this and reread these so I could take on these two. I wanted to go in fresh. Especially because if I remember right, book five kind of ended with a little bit of a cliffhanging detail there. So I'm really excited for that. That is like my whole January TBR right there. Because I want to reread those. And so yeah, Jack West January. If you want to join in, I'd love to hear from you. If you've read these before, if you want to join in on reading along, it'd be great. I'd love to hear it from you. So as I said, I'm mainly doing this to finish off some series that I've had sitting here for a while. So this series is a trilogy. I read the first two books as they came out but then I didn't get the third book right away and the third book's been sitting here for over a year and I thought maybe I should reread them but this is Smoke Eaters, Ash Kickers, <laughs> and Flame Riders essentially a fire department fighting dragons. I loved the first two when I read them but it's been it's, it's been a minute. <laughs> It's been a hot minute, as they say. <laughs> a hot minute? Eh, get it? Oh, God, the puns today. Um, so I thought, okay, if I'm going to read this new one, this final one that I picked up, I don't even know how long ago now. It's been over a year, I think. If I'm going to do that, I might as well reread the first two. So I don't know when in the year I'm going to do this. Maybe May. I'll tackle the three of them or something. I don't know. They're not terribly thick, so I could probably get them all done in a month easily enough. We'll see. As of right now, I'll say May. Just because I know June won't work because that's June on the range. And who knows what the rest of the summer will bring. But So somewhere in there, we'll do that as a reread. And continuing. <laughs> um, here again. Reread Red Rising by Pierce Brown. Because... I, this is probably the most recent one I've read of all these because I this was in my top 10 of 2022 list 
I read this in like December of 22. I really enjoyed it and was like, I need to get on with the rest of the series. Well, I never did. And I could still jump in because I have books two and three, Golden Sun and Morning Star. But I thought maybe I should refresh my memory on Red Rising and then go into these two. Again, I don't know when I'm doing this. I might wait and tackle I might try to tackle these like in March or April maybe do this in March and then these two in April but there again I just I don't know I'm I'd like to read it because then I have the whole set read and I know there's another there's other books after these but I know originally it was packaged as a trilogy and that's what I wanted to read first and if I want to continue on I'll go from there but I think maybe that's probably what I'll do. I'll maybe do that in March, Red Rising in March, and then do Golden Sun and Morning Star in April. Or do one in April, one in May, or something. I don't know. I do want to reread that Red Rising, though. So, all right. This next one is another series. And I haven't decided where I'm going to put this either yet. These are fairly short. I could probably read this whole series in a month if I committed to it. But I'd. If I was going to, I'd put it in Fantasy February, and since I've already got a big series in January, I might not want to do that. And I got a lot of other books lined up for February, but these will be fast reads anyway. But this is Lloyd Alexander's The Perdane Chronicles. Um, I haven't read this series since... God, it might have been since high school. It's been a long time. They're not very thick, like I said. There's five books here. And yes, I'm going to show you what annoys me about it right away. But you have The Book of Three, The Black Cauldron, The Castle of Lyre, Lyre, I never could pronounce that, Taran Wanderer, and The High King. I remember really enjoying this series this is one of the first fantasy series i read after i'd started with harry potter you know because harry potter kind of gets you back into reading and then when you were waiting for the next book i remember the school library looking around for other fantasy stuff and found the book of three and really enjoyed the book of three and then carried on with the rest of the series and eventually just got the set through what i think one of those like book order things you guys remember book orders when you were in school I don't even know if they do that anymore. Any of my younger viewers know? Do they still do book orders in school? I used to love those things. But they had the whole set you could order, the whole series of five. And for some reason, they were all this same size except for book four. I should look and see if I can find book four in that same bigger size. Because it does bother me. But they sit in a box most of the time. And now this cover is just creepy. I mean, look at that guy. <laughs> I don't know. I've, it's been a long, long time. I know they're more for junior readers, so I'll probably... I have to keep that in mind. I think most of them are like at a 6th or 7th grade reading level. But it's a fantasy classic. And it would be nice to read them and then maybe watch the old Black Cauldron movie again that Disney did. Nobody ever talks about the Black Cauldron. It's a great Disney movie. Dark and brooding and I love it. And I love the series, so it'd be good to reread those. Again, not sure where I'm going to put them yet for the reread. I know Sci-Fi September and October of Horror would be out, so we'll see where I squeeze those in somewhere in the year. Maybe I'll decide February, who knows? Depending on how the Jack West Jr. reread goes... I might get more read in January than I think. We'll, we'll see. Those books move fast. These will move even quicker. So, <clears throat> sometime in the year, we'll reread this whole series. Maybe February, like I said. They're very short. I could probably read them really quickly. i probably get through, I mean, like, what? Book of Three is, like, just over 200 pages. Black Cauldron's about that. Castle of Lear's 206. Tarion Wanderer is 254, and this last one's 305, 304, 304. So yeah, they're going to be quick reads. Maybe I could, st I probably could get like one of these done in a day if I really committed to it. I mean, the type isn't that small. 
if I went at it, I could probably read these pretty quick. So maybe we'll we'll say February temporarily right now, but it could be a different time. We'll just see how the year goes for us. And finally, another a junior fiction, I guess you'd call it, but this is a book I loved, and this is Patrick Ness's A Monster Calls. I haven't read this for a few years. I think I read it just before the movie came out or just after the movie. Came. I think it was just before the movie came out. So I want to say 2015 because the movie was 2016. And it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I've seen the movie. The movie's phenomenal. If you haven't seen the movie, definitely check it out. But don't watch it unless you want to cry. I'll admit I was weeping i was bawling at this movie the movie was so sad and usually a movie doesn't get me but this one really got me more so than the book did but so maybe the book will hit me harder this time having seen the movie and i do want to watch the movie again too but i'm also kind of afraid to watch the movie again because you know it made me a wreck but anyway those are my planned rereads for 2024 it looks like a pile, but a lot of them aren't that thick. They won't take long. Um, we'll just kind of see what happens on these. I'll probably, like I said, add other ones in as the year progresses. I had other series I entertained squeezing in. I thought about rereading um, Sandy and Slim. I thought about rereading The Bower Files from Stephen James because I've loved that series. I thought about trying to do a Sigma Force reread. I thought about rereading Mitch Albom's books. I had a lot of reread plans for this year. X Heroes back here. Those five. I had some big plans for rereads, and I just I couldn't do I couldn't do them all. I have way too many of my own to read, and I'm still getting more all the time. So if I can get all of these reread, I'll be doing good. The only downside is, is, unlike last year with some of the rereads, I don't see myself getting rid of any of these, so I'm not going to free up any room on the shelves, but that's a whole other problem. So, that's the video. What about you guys? Have you read any of these? Do any of these sound good to you? What are you planning to reread in 2024? I'd love to get a discussion going with you in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep turning pages.